Hi everybody, welcome back to USML team. Today's topic is a drug for Scarnet. Uh, this is uh, important uh, and uh, very briefly I will discuss about this because I will discuss only important points related to USML step 1 examination. So try to spend your time with me and please do not forget to tell your friends to subscribe and you to subscribe okay so if you subscribe uh, because uh, whenever we upload a new video YouTube will uh, send you a notification to your email ID saying that uh, this channel has uh, uploaded a new video so that you can watch and if you have anything new any updates any research is going on you can tell us through the uh, comments and you can sh but you need to show the evidence for that okay so that it should be helpful for me you and all our friends okay guys let me start with this foscar net i will discuss only important points related to usmle examination a foscar net is a structural mimic of the anion pyrophosphate that selectively inhibits the pyrophosphate binding site on viral dna polymerases at concentration that do not affect human dna polymerases okay it, in individuals treated with a DNA polymerase inhibitors acyclovir or gancyclovir, HSV or CMV particles can develop mutation protein kinases that is thymidine kinase or UL97 protein kinase respectively that make them resistant to these antiviral drugs. However, unlike acyclovir or gancyclovir, uh, foscarnate is not activated by viral protein kinases. This is very very important top, very very important point you should know. Uh, making it useful in acyclovir or gancyclovir resistant HSV and CMV infections. So this is the uh, use of this drug and the important point you should know about. Okay, however, acyclovir or gancyclovir resistant muted, mutants with alternation alterations in a viral DNA polymerase may also be resistant to foscarnate. So sometimes they, it can show the resistance also. Okay, the side effects very important uh, for USMLE step 1 is uh, most of them, more, uh, mo we should know the side effects uh, that's very important than uses. Okay, that's very important. So it causes a nephrotoxicity, increases in the serum creatinine levels occurs on average 45% of the patients receiving foscarnate. So, other nephrotoxic drugs should be avoided. So, like this, in US assembly, they will give you the history. Like for a step three, uh, they will tell that the patient is on um, uh, is taking the foscarnet drug and his, uh, his creatinine burn is increased. Uh, which of the following drug you will avoid in this patient? So, whichever drug that goes that passes through the uh, renal renal excretion. So you should avoid that. That's very important. Okay. So electrolyte disturbances, changes in the calcium, magnesium, pos uh, potassium, phosphate level occurs commonly, and regular monitoring of the electrolyte is necessary to avoid clinical toxicity. Okay. Genital ulceration occurs more commonly in men and usually occurs during induction use of uh, foscarnet. It is most likely a contact dermatitis due to high concentration of foscarnet in urine. It usually resolves rapidly following discontinuation of the drug. So try to remember this uh, sentence. Uh, it usually resolves uh, rapidly following a discontinuation of the drug. That's very important. So CNS, parasitaceous irritability and hallucinations can be seen as a side effect due to foscarnet. Okay guys. Uh, these are the important points you should know about um, Foscarnet for USMLE Step 1 examination. Thank you so much for watching my video. Take care.